welcome to RC Birds. This is the second part of my review about the Turbo Scorpion. The last time I talked about the basics of this model, the manual, and about the APs and Kyosho. This time we take a closer look at the model. I've got the model here, I've got a cup of coffee, so let's begin. First I'd like to show you this box. I got it from a dollar store, each of my car has one, and it's great for storaging the overlap parts and uh, for sorting uh, the screws uh, while you're building the car. Very interesting is this part above and on the right side we got here the key uh, or the tool for the oil field shocks. Very useful. Some oil. This was the oil that's mentioned in the manual but I don't use it. It's not uh, such an amount uh, you see compared uh, to the shocks I don't think it probably will uh, be enough but uh, Kyosho got me this one it's a little bit softer at 7.5 weight I used it and uh, have uh, much uh, left uh, in spare and one interesting thing this bag was additional in the box and uh, there you got uh, some uh, screws you might lose uh, or Eclipse or other things for maintenance. Uh, this is uh, this ring you see here is for the, for the differential. The kit comes along with thread lock. Uh, some parts uh, from a radio system. And uh, as we all know, the typical tool uh, every RC car has and they got some gr grease too and I'm not quite as sure okay. this tool was in the kit too in this uh, red hole uh, you can uh, put uh, one side uh, the upper side uh, of the oil field shocks and on the other side uh, you use uh, to close up the oil field shocks uh, this thing They are all uh, closed here at not, and not at the cap uh, as you probably know it from Tamiya. So this box is very great uh, if you are outside driving. You have uh, right on hand uh, what you need uh, if you had uh, some isu issues with the car. And it's also great uh, for storaging. I use an additional uh, foam part. Oh, sorry, you can see it. This here and that. I can uh, put the car and uh, put it in the shelf. And uh, the Turbo Scorpion is very great because it's very plain from the underside. So it can. Uh, rather rest there better than uh, some other cars uh, which have uh, chassis uh, who have some uh, curves in it uh, or even not a real chassis for example the cloud buster who has uh, only uh, i would say uh, three more three centimeters uh, where you can uh, store the car in the middle or my trx4 car there isn't uh, many places uh, to use this uh, and uh, I found uh, some other, other possibilities to store them uh, so they don't sit on the wheels. So let us get now to the car. On the last video I said uh, that the upper body is made of polycarbonate. The chassis bucket and the wings are made of uh, white molded hard plastic. Also the rims. This means if you want to build up the car in box art, you only have to paint uh, the upper body in white and you're done. The rest will do the stickers. I only use for box art uh, style the stickers of the cockpit and the driver figure and the helmet. The rest are from the sticker sheet uh, of the kit too, but I didn't uh, use them uh, as I were recommended uh, for the box art. 
If you want to build the car in box art, please keep in mind that the driver figure is painted too. It takes over the color from the body. So if you want a separate driver figure, you had to mess off uh, the whole area and then paint in uh, the color you want to. So now let's open the car. At first you had to take off uh, this uh, body clip and then that is a very nice uh, solution from Kyosho. There's a clip here. You have to tilt forward and then you have uh, four points, one, two, three and four, where the body is mounted. Just clip it off. And carefully, I don't want to ruin this car. Here it is. This is my third channel for the lights. I take this off for the review and we come back to it later. As you can see, there is no big magic in this car. We've got our steering servo, the receiver, the ESC, and the power switch. And as you can see, the power switch is uh, turned on the whole time. I need this because I couldn't uh, place it uh, where it is uh, used uh, to be. We come uh, later to that. And as you can see, I got uh, this extension cable here for the battery. For the reason, I'll open up the door and this is quite easy. The body clip, this is not standard, this is a big Tamiya ones. For my fingers, uh, it turns out uh, that they are better than these uh, small ones uh, who were in the car. So here's a battery compartment. And uh, as the manual say, you should uh, come through this hole. But uh, you've got a problem uh, of this uh, plain area. If you put in a battery, you don't have even have a chance uh, to put uh, this uh, plug or socket uh, into this. So I use the extension cable and uh, could uh, can put both into this here. But I have to extension the whole thing because the cable of the ESC is very short. So, because I want to show you later on the, the lights too, I got my radio system here also. Oh, now it's on. And uh, we put in the battery. And as I said before, the power switch uh, is already turned on, so I have uh, to ensure. Oh, I can't really see this whole thing. Yeah. safe I'll put it onto here okay everything's fine and now I turn it off because I don't want uh, the sounds uh, in the background We now start uh, with steering. The system uh, reminds me always uh, to a boat where you have uh, really such uh, long steering rods. But uh, for a design reason, so the bucket uh, can be widened widen to the back. They put the servo here for place uh, reasons and to put this long uh, steering rod to the front. The servo saver is quite good.
and you've got uh, not so sloppy wheels uh, as you do it uh, from other cars. The most uh, of the backlash uh, is uh, here at the axles and uh, not in the steering. I wouldn't say that it's uh, very precise because this is an off-road car and uh, there you don't uh, need a very precise uh, steering like an on-road car or a drifter. On the front side, uh, you see everything is metal, steel, aluminium, and the bumpers. And uh, you have to be very precise with the angles of this uh, bar. And uh, this uh, wheel connectors, oh, sorry, no. I'll come back in a minute with the right words, sorry. And back again with the right words. These two things are called uh, shaft blocks and uh, this is a uh, front arm shaft. You have to be very, very precise when you're building them. Keep in mind that you got the right angles. Check it twice, check it third times, check it four times. If you don't do, you might, uh, when the car is turning, get to the body. If you work very precise, there shouldn't be an issue that you ruin the body in this area. On the other side, uh, you see it's a frame rate chassis which is, uh, which is reinforced and I think uh, the one centimeter more in length uh, compared to the Scorpion is made uh, over this and this plate. So the whole gear section gets uh, out a little bit further compared to the Scorpion. These frame rates are made of aluminium too. And uh, the bucket is only screwed uh, to the chassis and has no stabili stabilization uh, function. So you got a real monocoque chassis. On the rear side, uh, oops, my coffee. I got a Tamiya Superstock motor and this heatsink from Yaya Racing. It's a very fast motor, around uh, thirty thousand uh, rounds per minute. So I need uh, this uh, quick run EC. And uh, now we get to a very interesting uh, part. You can open the gearbox from here. Just one body clip. And as I said, yeah, come on. I, the mini clips are not even made for me. If you take off the box, housing, Let's see the gears. Here is a slipper clutch, and uh, this is a pinion gear and the spur gear. You can change these both. There is another gear ratio in the kit, which uh, the car maybe probably slow down, but uh, give it a little more torque. So it depends uh, on the track you are running. This car is uh, planned uh, for our holidays at the Northern Sea where I want to drive it on the beach, so I don't uh, need many torque and uh, speed uh, will be enough uh, for the sandy tracks. And this uh, is a differential. It was pre-assembled, but as you can see, I uh, greased the complete thing and I disassembled uh, the differential too so that I can ensure that there is enough uh, grease in it and uh, it uh, won't uh, be damaged uh, after one time. This is a cone gear differential, which uh, never needs any maintenance if you have uh, greased it enough. The power switch was first mentioned by Kyosho to put it in the backside uh, 
I think in this section, you had to cut it out. And there is a small plastic bridge uh, which, which was uh, screwed uh, at this point. On this you put the power switch and then uh, you can uh, turn on the turn off the car from the rear. But uh, I used the 4 plus 4 light set of Carsten. So uh, I need the place for the lights uh, and don't want uh, to put this switch uh, onto there. And I think uh, the bridge uh, where the switch is put on uh, from uh, Kyosho prefers uh, Kyosho ESC. And uh, this probably wouldn't uh, fit. Uh, and I don't trust uh, double-sided uh, tape for this power switch. Uh, they always get lost. Uh, so uh, this uh, power switch is turned on the whole time. So get to the lights. The light housings are in the kit, also as uh, fake LEDs uh, so that you can put them together. You can choose if you want to use them or if you want to use uh, the two here or the two here or all four like I do. You can even choose if you want uh, to put the roll bar on the roof. It's all up to you and it's uh, for your personal design. So let me see. I have the camera and lights in front of me. Oops. No, the channel. These are the four lights, and I, if I get uh, four real lights, I don't uh, even uh, want to lose them or stick them uh, into the body. So I choose to drill some holes in, uh, get some uh, LED clips, and make sure that when I drill the holes, Almost done. So, and as you can see now, it's not only uh, from uh, the RC driver's uh, vision that you can see the rear lights. It's uh, probably when you're driving behind this car. I had ensured uh, that the lights uh, get through and uh, that the dr drilled holes line up with the holes in the shock mount. For a better view, I close the blinds and uh, will now turn on off the lights. Oh, I missed the main light. Now we are done. Yeah, the red lights uh, seen from the front are the reflections. And the car has uh, very good uh, abilities uh, to drive at night. Because of the lights. So, why I put this car back together. Let me think if I've forgotten to say something about this uh, car. Oh yeah. The tires, the tires are complete uh, front and rear filled with foams, which are in the kit too. The gear is complete, the gear 
is complete made out of metal. There are no plastic uh, ears in there. And uh, I'm sorry that I will not fire this car up. A uh, little bit we can do. Because uh, normally the wheels start to balloon. I'd uh, glued them uh, on the inside uh, because I think that is enough. And as I said, uh, I want to drive it on the beach. Uh, it hasn't to have uh, as much power as a car would uh, drive on some harder ground. One thing I not so lucky about is that the front wheels uh, have this uh, white name Sensuper, which is quite good, uh, but uh, you don't get that at the rear wheels. I think it's uh, because uh, the side of the tire isn't uh, it as white as in the front. You can adjust the shocks, front and rear, but uh, as they are, in the, they are built now, as mentioned in the manual, and uh, I'm uh, very happy with them. Uh, I've uh, tested this car on the grass, and uh, it uh, was very good. Okay, that is. Uh, Maybe, uh, of course, I use the 7.5 uh, VT oil, but uh, this problem have you around the whole car in the front and uh, in the back. Uh, the chassis will sit down on the ground uh, if the suspension is uh, working. And uh, I don't know on the standard Scorpion if you got the limited uh, way because uh, they use uh, some smaller oil field shocks. Mm. You see here's a little mark and here, which uh, came from the first driving. So in summary, this car is awesome. I love it. Apart from the age and the technology from the 80s, this is a fun machine that works out of the box and doesn't need uh, further upgrades. You can do this, uh, but uh, I don't see any reason uh, for upgrading any of this uh, car. Out of the box, uh, you got a perfect uh, model. For a 40 year old uh, RC car, the Turbo Scorpion is very fast. I put a uh, racing motor in it, uh, and that uh, is one of the circumstances, but you can also use a 540 silver can motor but the gear ratio for stands for itself and is better than in many other on-road or drifter cars and I got uh, very uh, scared uh, as a Turbo Scorpion runs for the first test drive in our apartment the, thr the, excuse me, the throttle reaction was very straight and I had to uh, idle it instantly Every part uh, that uh, has to take uh, some kind of stress is made out of metal. The rig is, has a complete set of ball bearings and the big oil field shocks uh, making the whole thing complete. Do I recommend this car? Yes, of course. Not only uh, for the collectors. This rig is suitable for everyday use. You might not uh, win a race against a modern buggy, but still you have uh, many fun with it. and. Uh, if you don't uh, want to drive it, it's a nice model for display. It's up to you if you like the turbo or rather its smaller brother with the balloon tires. The turbo kit costs around uh, 15 to 20 percent more than the standard uh, Scorpion, but uh, for that you get a better performing car. So thanks for watching uh, this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your questions and uh, opinions in the comments below. And I hope uh, to see you soon on this channel.